What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you two of the best ways to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to your computer without using iTunes or even plugging in your device to the computer. This is the best way to free up space on your iDevice by far and also a great way to make sure none of your photos get accidentally deleted. Now if you're looking to transfer photos and videos from your computer to your iPhone without using iTunes, be sure to click the link on the screen right now or you can also find it down in the description below. Now the reason I'm not using iTunes for this is because there are easier methods out there that work 100% of the time, unlike dealing with iTunes and all the issues that come with that. So let's just go ahead and get started with the very first method, which is using Google Drive. So for this method, I want you to go to the App Store on your iDevice and install an application called Google Drive. Once you have the application downloaded and installed, go ahead and sign in or sign up. If you don't have a Gmail account, it's obviously free and you can just go ahead and sign in or sign up right there. So once you're in, I want you to create a new folder and name it accordingly, maybe say photos and videos or photos 2016 or something like that, something that you will remember. Then you're gonna go ahead and click on the little plus icon down here, go to upload photos and videos, and then you're gonna choose the photos by clicking on them and then clicking upload. Now, depending on your internet speed and the amount of photos and videos you upload to Google Drive, it could take a good amount of time, so just be patient. But the good thing is that these files update in real time, so you don't have to refresh on Google Drive on your computer to see the files that have already uploaded. So to see that, go to your computer and navigate to drive.google.com and sign in with the same account that you are signed into on your iPhone. Once you're there, go to the folder you just created, and then you can just select the pictures and videos and save it to your desktop or folder or wherever you wanna save it on on your computer. Now Google does give you 15 gigabytes of free storage which should be enough for most people especially if you delete things periodically but if not they do have monthly plans starting at $1.99 for 100 gigabytes and all the way up to 30 terabytes for $300 a month. Now this Google Drive method serves multiple purposes because not only can you transfer and view these photos whenever you want, but they're also permanently saved to the cloud. That means that even if you delete them from your camera roll or from your hard drive, they'll always live in Google Drive. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the second method, which is a lot easier, and it's done through an application called iExplore. So the first thing you need to do is download iExplore from the link down in the description below, and you may or may not need a registration code. If you do, and if you get some kind of prompt for a registration code, be sure to leave a comment down below and I will definitely help you out with that. So once you've downloaded that, I want you to connect your iPhone to your computer and launch the iExplorer application on your Mac or PC. Once you're in here, I want you to click on Photos on the left-hand side menu, go to Photos, go to Camera Roll, and then select individually or multiples by holding Shift or Command. Once you've selected the photos and videos you want, go to Export on the bottom here, and then go to Export Selected to Folder. And then you can save them to either your internal or your external hard drive. So this is a good way to store your photos on your internal or external hard drive without worrying about uploading everything to the cloud. So there you have it guys, those are my two preferred methods for quickly transferring photos and videos from my iPhone to my computer. I have a lot of people in real life that ask me about this all the time, so I figured I'd make a video on this, and you know, I think it will help some people out. It's pretty basic, you know, especially for my viewer base, but I really think that this will help some people out. So I definitely wanted to make a video on that. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe for more cool iPhone tricks, reviews, news, and so much more. So thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you soon.